warm. First alert forecast again uh, for the afternoons will be down to those t-shirts for sure. That means it's a good kind of sweater morning, light jacket kind of morning. Knoxville drop into around 46. Again, some spots more so cooling to upper 40s to that low 40s mark in our higher elevations. Patches of fog developing again this morning, otherwise clear. Sunrise 10 minutes to 7, which puts us, or 10 minutes to 8, excuse me, which puts us at 46 degrees at 8 o'clock. Top of the hour, our coolest spot of the morning. And then it's going to continue to warm up quickly. I mean, another 20 degree climb from morning to midday. Today, we're looking at 10 degrees above average. So we are looking at this warm Wednesday afternoon. We have a southwesterly wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour, plus sunshine. That really helps to kind of boost that heating on this Wednesday. So it'll be 67 at noon, high today, 79 degrees, upper 60s at 8 o'clock, a little more than an hour after sunset. So all in all, we do have a warm afternoon to even early evening, really, because in between, in that first alert forecast where you live, we're cranking out more upper 70s to even some low 80s. So notice that heat fanning out better in all of our higher elevations. I do think that means you could easily hit 80 in Oak Ridge to 81 in Kingston and Athens and 79 in Knoxville to Miraville. 77 your high today in Crossville. A few degrees warmer across the board. 78 even in Oneida to La Follette. Pumping that heating up a little further north. Gets you to 78 Stearns and 77 in Barberville. First alert forecast where you live. Zoomed in so you can find your county. That's 79 Pigeon Forge. 78 Newport to 77 in Morristown. So definitely feeling that warmth on this Wednesday. Now tonight will actually be a little milder. I wanted to highlight the differences though. Where you can see because winds are starting to turn. Yet again we don't really evenly cool. So we're trying to get closer to upper 40s to around 50 throughout much of the valley to northeast Tennessee, then more low to mid 40s plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line. So it is a milder start, but notice that difference there in terms of that wind shifting. Now it's actually going to help to slow down the heating tomorrow because we'll have more of a northeasterly wind. We'll have some pockets of fog first thing Thursday morning and another beautiful sunny day, but at least it won't be as warm. Okay, we're still above average, but I do think we'll be closer to 75 now for Thursday. Just seeing that northeasterly wind help to kind of slow down that heating just a bit. So again, the morning in Knoxville closer to 50 and then it's still 66 at noon. High tomorrow 75 still then low to mid 60s at 7 to 8. So if you want to have some fun, run around town, get out and about Thursday evening. At least that helps to kind of knock that back a few degrees to wrap up your day. We'll keep the wind speeds between 5 and 10 miles per hour on Thursday again out of the northeast. That turns back to southwest out of Friday and gusts pick up to around 15 miles per hour. So this is just ahead of the front. Then winds turn again going into Saturday. This is the cold front actually moving through, but notice the gusts are still only up to about 15 miles per hour. Still kind of a puny looking cold front for Saturday. But with those winds picking up on Friday, the warm afternoon, I figured a lot of folks will be outside. So I wanted to highlight that that does mean there'll be more dust in the air on Friday, along with some ragweed stirring around because of those extra winds. And then we'll have a couple of showers move through. In the first alert future cast, you can see it's stray Friday night to early Saturday morning. There's some spotty rain trying to come down along the plateau to northeast Tennessee. Couple showers Saturday afternoon to evening. Unfortunately, it's still looking spotty, but just adds up there. That is the front passage. So that's where we're around 76 with some extra clouds Saturday, closer to 70 on Sunday, and a stray shower left over. So at least this does reset us closer to normal going into early next week.